I'm not, I'm not gifted. I'm just driven. I'm a guy that came from nothing. Anybody's capable of doing shit like this. Anybody. And I sat in that tub. She put the water on me. She called my mom up. And my mom was dating a doctor at the time. The doctor, the doctor said, you need to get him to a hospital now. She came back in. All I wanted to do was call Chris Costner on the phone, the race director of Badwater, and so I can did it. So she said, I'm taking it to the doctor. I said, no, let me sit here and enjoy this pain. She said, what are you talking about? I said, you know, I go, I need to go to the doctor. I realize that. But I never thought it was humanly possible to do what I did. Hey, 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 world. So I'm about to get ready for my first run today for this 4x4x48 four by four by David Goggins challenge at 1300 or 1 o'clock for you civilian people. Uh, I'm nervous, anxious. I don't think I have been still since I've been at work today. Uh, it's been a very unique just thinking process through it all. But I'm about to put these shoes on and get suited up for this first run. It is beautiful today. Um, it's 64 degrees. I feel like this is just a sign that regardless what happens today, God creates the environment for you to prosper, to move forward. Uh, I'm going to continue to do that. But uh, we're about to start mile one uh, once I change. So I'm going to change and start my, start my first four-mile run today. It's currently 1248 here in D.C. Uh, so, yeah, here we go. First run down, feeling good. Legs felt a little heavy, but I'm sure it's because I was just at work all day anticipating I was standing up 90% of the day. So one down, baby. Focus on the present, one down. What's good? Getting ready for run number two. It is 447. Gonna be heading out at five for run number two. Feeling good. I uh, was able to get a little 30, 40 minute little nap. Uh, the sleep part will be easy for me if you know me, but um, about to get ready. Run number two. Good afternoon. Run number two is down. Feeling good. Feeling good. Keeping a decent pace. Not really worried about the pace, but keeping a decent pace. Feel great. Fasted all day today. So I'm about to get my first meal in. Probably something small like a quick bacon and cheese McMuffin. Um, a banana, probably some yogurt. Then I'm gonna actually lay downstairs in the recliner, elevate my feet, and go from there. Your boy's feeling good. Let's go. Hey, hey, welcome back. About to get ready for run number three. It's currently 8.43 p.m. My next run is at nine o'clock, so about to get ready for that run. And then my next one after that, I'll be running Saturday morning at 1 a.m. So I'm uh, feeling good. I was able to sit down. Couldn't go to sleep, but just sit down, relax my feet. So doing good. Run number three is done in the books. It is officially 9.33. Keeping a good pace. Feel good. Um, I want to take this time out to just say RRP to nip. I really never listened to his music, but I've been running to the 30 for 30 for him. And one thing that uh, regardless if you knew him or not, he stood for something that I definitely stand for and that's giving back. Regardless how he might have left to go see God, he gave back in his way. And that's what I'm gonna continue to do. You can see that ready of light. God loves good energy. And time doesn't wait for anybody. If there's anything you want to accomplish, anything you want to get done, start now. Don't wait. Good boy, out. Pull up in motor cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers are throw away. Hustle the overway. That's why they... Happy Saturday, about to be run number four. Saturday is currently 12.44, about to get up, get on these running clothes. Was able to get a little 20, 30 minute nap in, but after this run, I'm gonna shower, probably eat and then actually lay in the bed, but feeling good. 
Let's knock this out. Let it go. Ride number four in the books. Felt good uh, physically. Thought about eating a lot, so I'm about to go in here, probably make a bowl of oatmeal with some bananas and honey. Get this fuel in. Try to get like a cup hour nap. But what I thought about on this four mile run is you must first prioritize the struggle to pave the way to success. Your boy's out. Again, thank you to Nipsey for the motivation. There you go. What's up, my people? About to get ready for run number five. It is currently 445, 445 for run number five. So about to get up and go. Not feeling too bad at all, but got a couple, got about an hour or so. So after this run, I'm gonna try to get another good nap. And then at the, after the nine o'clock run, I'll eat a meal. So let go. Good morning, good morning. It is 5.35 a.m. on Saturday morning. We are 20 hours into the challenge. Feeling good physically, actually. Been able to wake up. Um, now it's more about just getting the miles done. Not focus on the pace, but just focus on successfully completing this mission. Uh, one goal at a time, one mile at a time. But let you know this, when it's up, then it's up. Your boy out. There you go. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Getting ready for run number six. It's crazy to think that we're already halfway there. Uh, it's nine. It's about to be. It's eight fifty-two. So the next run is at nine o'clock. Feeling good. Um, physically, uh, quads are a little heavy, but um, that's normal. That's to be expected with the miles. But we're making it through this. And uh, again, one of the things that I'm pushing through with this uh, second half is just prioritize your struggles to pave the way for success. But just want to thank everyone for any support that's been given. Uh, this has been a very different spin. Uh, I think tonight, starting around 9, when we're on the downhill slope, maybe we'll see uh, how everything is going. But feeling good, feeling good. So let go. All right, halfway done, 24 hours, 24 miles. Man, it's your mind. My paces are still 8.30, but man, I felt like I was running 10 minutes, 11 minute miles. So now, again, sticking with the quote of today, got to prioritize the struggle to pay the way to success. It's going to be a good day. Let go. Hey, 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 it is currently 1244 about to get dressed for a mile well run number seven so put us at 28 miles 28 hours so a little bit under half to go um feeling good like physically even like when it comes to like the rest because i'm getting a little naps here and there but the legs are a little heavy but you know it's all about just getting it done keep moving once you get out there don't forget, prioritize the struggle so you can pave the way for success. Your boy's out. Let go. Hey, 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 happy Saturday. It's officially now 1.37. Uh, about to run to the store, kind of pick up some smoothie stuff. I think that's what I'm going to try to take in the next two runs of smoothie right now before the 5 o'clock run. And then a smoothie before the nine o'clock run. Gonna probably, I already got strong greens and stuff by BPN. So I'll put the strong greens, strong reds in there with some strawberries and probably blueberries and drink that down. Uh, feeling good, feeling blessed. Um, again, remember, you must prioritize the struggle to pave the way for success. Your boy only got five more, man. The biggest thing for me is just getting to um, getting to this nine o'clock run. After that, I'll be good to go. Getting past that nine o'clock run is going to be the motivation. 
Um, also on this challenge, you can do 40 minutes of moving, which I was thinking about doing that for the five o'clock and nine o'clock and then finishing up with running the last three. So we'll see, but I might do that. Uh, but let's go. All right, we're getting close to starting this 5 p.m. run. Uh, it's gonna be run number eight. Uh, right now it's 4.31, so I'm just getting ready. I'm gonna actually do this run at the track. Uh, I'm gonna try not to worry about, you know, the redundancy of the track. I just wanna feel the softness of the track. Uh, so I'm gonna go out to the track and do that. I run the four miles out there. And most importantly, uh, just find something entertaining to listen to on my run out there. So, boy's feeling good, man. Of course, you're gonna be sore, that's natural. But overall, feeling good. Uh, knocked out for like a little quick 20, 30 minute nap. Bounced up, but uh, doing good. So, there you go. Run number eight. Let's go. Run number eight is down in the books. We're coming to the last four of this 48 hour challenge. Your boy's feeling good. Um, I will tell you, I've been thinking about the strawberry banana smoothie I'm about to blend up. So that's what pushed me through. Well, one more run tonight at nine. Probably gonna come back out to the track. Might even slow the pace down even more. Uh, but it feels good. Your boy's out. All right, happy Saturday. It is 8.44 p.m. I'm bundling up for this ninth run. Um, pretty much downhill after this run. Um, just feeling good. It's just my soreness in my quads, but like not overly sore, but like they're sore. Um, nothing I can't get through. Uh, remember that you gotta prioritize the struggle to pave their way for success. And that's what we doing. Um, we moving, staying positive, um, feeling good. Uh, I was able to get another smoothie in, got another uh, McMuffin with some uh, Nutella on there. So getting that in, um, not trying to overeat, just kind of putting something in my body, but we're gonna get through it. Let go. What's good? It's your boy. I'm on run number nine. Had to walk the last mile, but it goes back to again, guys. Prioritize your struggle to get to success. There's three more of these runs. Rome wasn't built in a day. What you gotta do, you gotta do. And my quote for the last three runs are gonna be, always understand that only God is always available. Don't depend on people. Don't depend on resources. Depend on God. Your boy's out. Let go. All right, so I'm back. It's 9.47. I finished my nine, ninth run. Uh, average 10-minute pace. Uh, I started to walk a little bit uh, to prioritize the struggle to pave the way for success. But then I ended up finishing with an 8.37 pace to finish up the last, like, half mile. So still getting it in, still moving, still getting it. Let go. All right, it is now Sunday, 12.31. Uh, I'm gonna be getting ready to run this number 10, 1 a.m. run this morning. Um, yeah, uh, words can't describe, you know, how, how much this means to even get this close, get this, uh, close to almost being finished. Um, I have two last runs that I'm going to dedicate to two special people. But I just wanted to make sure that you all know that um, this means a lot. Uh, this means a lot to me to be able to complete this, to put my mind to something, just say I'm going to do it. Um, and I hope that I can leave a legacy for my son, for my family, for anyone who feels like things aren't possible. I want to make the impossible possible. I know that sounds cliche, but in life, you know, especially with COVID, the pandemic, with everything going on, we're starting to forget our purpose. And our purpose is to run with purpose. That's run the race. That's run life. That's run your family, run your marriage. Whatever you want to run, just run it with a purpose. I want to say thank you. 
you to anyone who have supported me throughout this. Um, again, let's go. Let me run number 10. Let go. All right. Run number 10 down in the bag. Uh, very emotional last run. And the reason why I say last run is because my last two runs are going to be dedicated 40 minutes a piece. Um, some form of movement. I'm probably going to get on my treadmill. But the first 40 minutes is dedicated to my son, Elijah. For those who don't know Elijah, Elijah is the true definition of love. He has autism and an angel man syndrome. And I'm going to be wearing his autism jersey with his face on it for the 11, for the 11th movement. It's going to be 40 minutes. Uh, for anybody who's going to be watching this in the future, know that David Goggins set up these alternates just in case uh, there's some reasons you can't physically get out and run. But I wanted to make sure that my next movement meant something. And this is for you, Elijah. Thank you for showing your dad what real love is. Thank you for loving me unconditionally, regardless of what's going on. Thank you for providing your smile. Thank you for providing me these moments of emotion so that I can know that I'm normal. And I want to say I love you, bro. This is going to be something you're going to be able to see in your legacy. I'm leaving a legacy, little, little man. And you're part of it, man. And thank you to his sister, Nevaeh, my beautiful daughter. I don't have a leg for you, but you know what you mean to me. You're like my twin, my alter ego. I just want to say these last two. This next one's for Elijah. And when I come back after the other 40 minutes, I'll tell you who the last one's dedicated to. I love you guys. Your boy's out. Good morning, everyone. It is 4.50 on Sunday. Um, I am on leg number 11 of this 4x4x48 four by four by challenge. And as I spoke about previously, um, I'm going to be moving for 40 minutes on the treadmill, getting some miles in there. If you guys see, I'm currently wearing my... can see the back through the mirror my autism jersey for my son this is going to be 40 minutes for him um, it was very important for me to prioritize my struggle uh, I wanted to go through those first 40 miles to dedicate first to my son um, when I first started this challenge I knew I can complete it uh, it wasn't really about the running but it was about doing something that had meaning had purpose and uh, this is one of the people who give me purpose. So I'm going to be doing 40 minutes of movement for him. Um, and I thank everyone who's been following this journey so far. The 4 by 4 by 48 I got a huge surprise at the end for you all. Thank you. There you go. All right. So if you can hear this song in the background, my last mile is going to be dedicated to my beautiful mother, Joyce Marie Jameson. Man. It's not a day that goes by that I don't think about you. It's not a day that goes by that you don't motivate me to be better. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. The holidays are coming up. It's always a hard time. If people could feel how you feel it, feel this month. I've been feeling the past few months. I've been in some very dark places, Mom. But I know what you have for me and what you are setting up for God with me up there. No one can do. Just want to say I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.
to the last one. This dedication is going to my mother, Georgia Jameson. You know, forget the quote, the only fail safe is yourself. So dare to fail. Let's go.